That's a little wonky. Okay, this one is tough. It's gonna kind of just spin its Next. own wheels for a few minutes. Hang with it. Okay. Let's hang with it. Porn stars die too. Picture on the wall is pretty awesome. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I like texture on the wall. Do, 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 do. See, like, this is it the whole game, and there's nothing that's particularly interesting about it. You just walk to the end of a hallway. Except, for some reason, Coda gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's gonna start over, use the same assets, turn it into something else. Okay, cool. Here's version 2. Sure, none of my decisions are making any difference. Uh, there's a bit more to this one, but still, it's not really communicating anything. It, it's kind of just weird for weirdness' sake. So, okay, he throws it out and starts over. This time he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. Okay. And of course, now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. <laughs> Here's a version where there are no like bars, it. but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the outside and the outside is the inside. Let me just blink you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen of them. Personally, I think it's awful to watch this, to see a person basically unraveling through their work. 
And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on? But Coda doesn't have that voice telling you to stop, that particular mechanism of defense against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going, and then he hits on something. And he likes it. And that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. Okay. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created. And the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. It's a conversation. And so this is what Coda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. You know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. Yeah. You have to eat someone. I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay, wouldn't that be nice? Things will never be okay. <laughs> so what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? Okay. Color me curious. To me, this environment is meant to represent Coda's puzzle, with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. Lots of crazy random books. I'm 
messy bed. You'll notice that the quality of the art is a step up from previous games, yes. including this new and improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work, and this particular game took two months to create as a result. Especially cheesy. Straight cheddar. What? Fuck you. After the intense set of prison games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you, and eventually cohere into something meaningful. Actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period of a few months where he was, like, grossly happy all the time. Just walked around with a constant smile on his face. Get all zen. There is a bit of truth in it, no? I'm glad he made this. I'm glad he found some peace. Of course, it can't last. The music stops, your companion is gone, it's time to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Again, you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. I really thought that was the point of it.
Dun, dun, dun. This one gets a bit goofy. Okay. Right now, who do you who do you think about that way in your own life? Who do you know that is so well developed as a person that they make you feel disgusted with yourself? Compared to whom you feel useless, selfish, ungrateful. I intend to make you into that person. Perfection is within your grasp. The question is not how do we do it, but how do we do it effortlessly? This is easy. It is About so halfway easy. Through the game, the so easy. Shifts. <laughs> and you play as the teacher. And suddenly, you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Oh, and also you can move around the classroom now. pretty hard for this one. I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that you can have. To uh, assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. I think about this game a lot these days. I kind of want to expect Coda to have killed himself based on a lot of this stuff. This one took a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. That's twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this, and it's not like it's particularly complex, so I remember I found that a little strange at the time. Okay. All right, you can't click on any of those. Head out on stage. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. I've been shot. Okay, we'll lean against the wall. Oh yeah. Leaning against the wall. I dream of photographing animals professionally. Let's try and learn something from a... Hello. Sorry.
Apparently I'm bad at conversations. That's trippy. I'm trapped. No. Stupid light pole. The game ends with this eerie premonition of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and having to chase success, the answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away, which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very helpful when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from the world. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Because I nope. feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect with this person. To bring him closer. But what can you do? After this, Koda went off and took another five months to make a new game. Okay.